internet in the B1 local business district. The matter was published in the Herald on November 14, 2023. I have no objections, comments from any of the authorities. I do have uh, correspondence from the fire district and the uh, village of Burr Ridge, which are part of the record. I have a plot of survey as exhibit one. I presume this markup, whatever it's supposed to be, is uh, the, the site plan. And then uh, I have a purchase and sale agreement, which has been tendered. I don't need that and will not inclined to take as an ex exhibit. And then I have uh, group exhibit three, which is um, some sort of a rendering, maybe the footprint of the building. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll take this document as group exhibit three. And I ask everyone who wants to testify to raise your hand and be sworn in, including the people that are online. My hand raised. <laughs> okay. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony and evidence you're about to give at this time shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Okay, who's the owner of the property? Um, the, cur the, the current owner is Car 8 Realty, LLC. Okay, and, and you're, uh, how do you pronounce your name? Um, Jeannie Flutterjohn. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer for the company. Okay. Um, so let me just quickly address some, before you begin your presentation, I've got a couple of questions from Burr Ridge that I think are germane. Do you have any other locations similar to the one you propose? I, I did reply actually for all the questions. Again, yesterday, I sent it to, uh, yeah, because I'm the technical buyer. I replies for all, I sent it to Jessica yesterday about email. Okay, so this is all the replies. If you want to okay, I'll just take this. I'll take this as your exhibit. We'll mark it as petition as exhibit number four. Mm -hmm. you don't, it's an exhibit. You don't have to go over it. I'll review it later. So go right ahead with your presentation. Okay, so I'm um, seeking for auto sale or selling on internet. So uh, very much what we do, we are posting the car on the internet to the third company for advertising. And the customer, they call us uh, and we uh, schedule an appointment, which is gonna be on appointment only. And then obviously they will come check the car if they like it, then we buy it. Uh, so the internet sales, that means there's no flag, no balloons, no like uh, car for sale outside. Uh, just on uh, uh, appointment only. Okay. What else? Yeah, I mean, uh, I have been in this business like since 2013. I have another location in Neurostar and I want to expand my internet selling and move to this location, which, which is uh, uh, very rich. There's much seen about it, but I'm using it. Right there. So, and that's very much. Any auto sales, they, all the auto sales right now is on the internet. So, there's no work in customer. What hours of operation? It's from nine to six. Seven days a week? No, uh, it was Sunday. And uh, th this exhibit is entirely inadequate as far as I'm concerned. Is this supposed to be your site plan or what? Yeah, this is uh, this is a parking only the, for the parking uh, for the car for sale. The the, the yellow uh, mark. That's because you, uh, this is asking if you want to park your car or you want to put a stop parking. Are these existing? Yes. Delineated parking spaces. Yes. Okay, well, you were here before and got approval, but your proposal last time was no uh, auto parking on site. How many cars do you propose to have? Uh, whatever the studio is going to be, maybe 50, whatever the, the, the space allow me. But I'm not going to obviously use it for uh, all of it because it's going to be only electric car and like luxury car. So it's not, it's not as much inventory company with the you know, high quality. So eventually it can be only uh, electric car. Uh, 
pay. So you're the contract purchaser of the property? I'm the buyer, actually. Is sale closed? Uh, no, okay, it's pending to approve. No, so a you're a contract purchaser pending approval of the mm -hmm. zone. Okay. Well, I, I need to know, um, when do you, you have staff parking, when do you propose to have staff present? Yeah, we show it here, actually, uh, this is here. I don't know if you have it here. Like this? Yeah, so this is here, the staff parking. It's any, any open spot, it's nothing. So there are only two people. So when do you propose to have staff present? When? All, during the, all of your hours of operation? Um, um, not really, because we only uh, run the business for two people uh, very much, so it's going to be uh, maybe two spots or uh, and it's not all the time, so it's a reserve for that. So they will not be there from nine to six, they'll be there when you have an appointment? Yes. What do you propose to do about the fire department comments? We cannot do whatever they want to do to operate the, the business. Yeah, because uh, we don't know this issue, but we can, after we close the sale, we can get all the permits, which is required by the village or by fire department or whatever it's required. So I don't know what they are. They just say there are unresolved issues. I mean, yeah, whatever they are gonna need it, we can uh, comply on that. Okay, what else do you have to tell us? Mm, uh, nothing. Uh, I, mean, I mean, that's uh, very much what we needed. Again, we are in this business field uh, 10 years, more than 10 years, and we are now just expanding. And, uh, uh, and the reason I mean to move to this situation because it's very much it's very close to my residence, like only one mile away from my from my. Okay, well, I need to have a better understanding. This is a really, for a business operation, this is a really sloppy exhibit. Uh, I need to know definitively the number of parking spaces and the number of cars. And it's not up to me to count these. I don't even know if these are properly delineated on the piece of property rather than on this. This is already existing parking about now. Okay, well, then you count them up and uh, delineate the numbers and revise this exhibit. Okay, it's, uh, it's I counted it's 50 cars. Well, how? I count, uh, you, uh, it's... But you said you have a, that's a maximum of 50? Yeah. How many are you requesting? Hmm. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, I mean, all, this is the maximum, but we will not use it uh, the all of it. It's just whatever we have an inventory, uh, wherever we post the car online should be there, obviously, for the customer will come. But uh, uh, my proposal uh, is going to be at 40, 35, or that this range. 35, 40. Yeah. And the lamps or a new stuff. Okay, so that's all you have for your presentation? Yes. Did you read the packet of materials that was sent to you? No. Okay. Do you have anything else uh, that you want to add as the uh, car right uh, operations person? No, the only thing I think that you had mentioned that there were some outstanding um, items at the property from our when we were in the process of opening. Um, and I think somebody had made the comment that we were kind of objecting to those. I just wanted to make sure it was clear. We never, we were just in the process of getting an understanding of, of exactly what was required from us. And we just decided, elected to, to not expand our operations in Illinois. So I think Your point is was, you, you didn't object to uh, cooperating with the fire district, but you simply uh, abandoned the project. 
Yeah, before we got clarity, because there were some conflicting opinions amongst the entities there about what we would need to do. And we just never got to the point where we got to a firm answer before we decided to not move forward. Okay. Yeah, so, that's fine. I just uh, wanted to make sure, you know, the fire district says we're going to have to revisit, you are going to have to revisit those if this goes forward or something. Right. And what sure. about these other two people online? Who are you folks? Yeah, my name's Alexis Zemitis. I uh, live in a property right across Route 83 from the designated property that they are uh, uh, that they own. Put it this way. Okay, do you want to make a statement about this case? Yes, um, uh, several things. First of all, light pollution. It's a very important thing because uh, they're going to be practically across the road from uh, a residential area. And if they have cars parked there, they're going to have to, um, I don't know, gate them or something and keep lights on them so people wouldn't steal them. Well, those, have you seen the letter from uh, Village of Burr Ridge? No, I haven't. They haven't well, sent me one. That issue, security, uh, lighting, uh, et cetera, uh, it were addressed and then we have like four or five word answers uh, to each point from the petitioner. And so what is going to be done? I mean, because I know that there are several properties along that area around Route 83 that have been come into contention recently. Sure. There's no testimony from the petitioner about what he wants to do with respect to lighting or gating or security. Yes. Uh, other than these uh, cursory comments uh, in response to the uh, uh, village of Burr Ridge. Okay, well, we have a residential area here, and uh, especially with what happened at Willowbrook Kia last week with someone uh, uh, stealing cars there and everything, it's become a very, uh, it's, you know, it's preoccupying. Okay. So, I yeah, think, I understand the concerns. You know, it's a it's it's a concern. Uh, second of all, uh, I know. Uh, I guess since they're an internet company, uh, they won't be having much traffic. Uh, there's always the uh, you know the issue of this uh, intersection here. Uh, there's no deceleration lane or anything for cars to turn into. Um, I think what is it, honeysuckle or mockingbird? Uh, Oh, I forget what the uh, road is exactly. Is it Mockingbird Lane? The thing. So it's always there's always a traffic concern because I live right across from there, and there's about 40, 50 honking horns every day of close calls here. Okay. So, and uh, so, and the other thing is, you know, the, the possible criminal element of people actually going in there and stealing cars. I mean, if this place is going to be protected, do have do they have a night watchman or whatever around there? I mean, these are all concerns. But you know, all right. Thank you, sir. Is there another person on the phone? They're on the phone, but they didn't identify them, so I just talked to them. Oh, okay. Is there? An, I see another person on the phone with uh, last four digits four three zero five. Are you for this case, sir or ma'am? If you're, we don't hear your response. If you are responding, you must have muted your phone or whatever. But I'm going to give you another chance to respond. So not hearing a response, we'll call you for the next hearing as well. All right, do you have any final comments, sir? No. Okay, I'll take the case under advisement and, and we will uh, render a decision in the next couple of weeks. And then you'll uh, be, uh, you'll have our uh, decision uh, available to you by email. Uh, and then we refer the matter to the County Development Committee and finally the full county board. So thank you very much. We'll close the hearing.
This is the request for conditional use to increase the total area of detached accessory buildings from permitted 1494 square feet to approximately 2,128 square feet. Uh, that translates to 1504 for an existing detached garage and 624 for a proposed detached garage. The matter was uh, published in the Daily Herald on November 14, 2023. I have no objections from any of the various authorities to whom we've circulated the petition. I have two exhibits. One is a survey and two is the site plan showing the uh, proposed new garage. Can I ask, uh, well, I'll have you sworn in. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Villarreal, can you hear me? Hello? Who is it? Okay, Mr. Uh, Villarreal, um, you may be muted. I cannot hear you and I can't see you because you're on oh, just on a telephone. I tried to call you for the last hearing as well. And I was not able to communicate with you in the last hearing and apparently not able in this hearing. So I'm going to proceed with the hearing. Would you raise your hand, sir, and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony and evidence that you are about to give at this time shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. Okay. Could you state your name and spell your name? Daniel Davis, D-A-N-I-E-L, last name Davis, D-A-V-I-S. And are you, are you uh, you're the property owner through this, uh, is it an LLC? Yes, sir. And do you live at the property? I do, yes, sir. How long have you lived there? Uh, almost a year and three months. Okay, and uh, do I have your two exhibits correct? The survey and the site plan? We do, sir. Very good. Um, okay, this is a pretty straightforward case. You've got a two acre site, a uh, little over two acre site, and you want to add uh, 600 or so square feet of space in the garage. Tell me, uh, what is the condition of the existing garage? Well, the existing garage is um, fine. There's nothing. Uh, that's been changed on the existing garage. The new garage is because my son is a musician and playing um, drums. And so I moved him and his musicians out to the existing garage. So we didn't hear any of the noise or the neighbors don't hear any noise from them practicing two days ago. So I've never, I, I'm quite familiar with the term, but I've never encountered a garage band, but you're telling me that's what's going on. <laughs> that's, yeah, only part-time practice in band, so. Okay, how many people in this band? Uh, there's three. And how often do they use it? Uh, once or twice a week. I also um, recently divorced and have uh, a lot of excess, you know, furniture and stuff that, you know, we're using for the existing garage to temporarily store. Are there visitors that uh, come to the uh, garage no. when the practice occurs? No, they don't allow it. They go and do their own um, whatever kids, whoever you know. Okay, here, here's my concern. I, I don't want to grant um, an increase for an additional garage building if it's used for a business purpose. It is not. This is okay. seems from your testimony to be a hobby uh, or similar to a hobby. Um, so to the extent that there are no visitors to the site, uh, it makes it more sound like it's simply a practice you know, facility. And then you, you're telling me that um, the contents of well, the contents of the existing garage would be one hundred percent dedicated to the band. No, not at all, sir. I, I also have furniture. My father passed away. I have a uh, a car that we're storing in the existing garage as well. So not at all. This is just the all music. typical residential household items. Correct. And yeah. is the same true of the uh, new garage, proposed garage? The new garage would just be for my personal vehicle. How many cars do you have or vehicles do you have? Four. Does your son live with you? He does. Okay. 
can you tell me those vehicles? The makes and models or uh, are two transportation automobiles or three or four are they yeah. all cars? They're all cars. Yeah, they're all cars. One is a Bronco SUV. Okay. Um I also have a work truck that I bring home from work and it doesn't stay here on the weekends. What kind of work do you do? Um, I actually work for a construction company. Okay, but it's not your business, it's uh, you're an employee? Correct, yep. Well, that's, I mean, a pretty straightforward case with a modest uh, proposed increase. Mr. Bill Real, am I now able to communicate with you? I, I believe so. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. Yeah, I can hear you now. Um, is it your intention to give testimony in this case? Uh, I'm just the neighbor. I was just wondering what was being built and because I have a similar, I live across the street, so I have something similar that I was wanting, wanting to do too. So okay. I was more wondering what the process was. All right. Well, this is it. I hope you're impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Very. <laughs> Hi, neighbor. <laughs> Hi, neighbor. <laughs> you know, I don't have any uh, other questions. Like I said, it's, uh, I think I've used the word straightforward case a few times, and uh, I'm done with okay. questions unless you have something else you want to present. No, no, sir. Okay, do you know the process from here? Not necessarily. So I make a recommendation. It will be in writing. It will be available to you by email within the next few weeks. Uh, and then my recommendation uh, or my decision constitutes a recommendation to the county development committee. That's a subcommittee of the full county board. They'll they'll hold a hearing and consider this case and many others. Um, and then they will uh, uh, undertake some finding, uh, usually consistent with mine, but not always, and then transmit the matter to the full county board. So it'll take uh, another. Uh, well, given the uh, season, it will probably take till the end of December to resolve this okay. through those next several steps. But I'm good to go unless you have anything else. If not, I'll close the hearing. Thank you for your time. Great. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Hey, this is uh, Bob Carthel, the zone hearing officer. I have two items on the agenda that were published for today. <laughs> Those are uh, 075, the Acorn Acres case, and 084, Dr. Smoke. In both of those cases, I have a request to withdraw, and it's our custom to uh, uh, respond officially to the request. I will grant both of those requests, and we won't further consider either of these matters. Okay, I'm Bob Carthol, the zoning hearing officer, and I'll call case 23087, the Route 53 Cafe case. Um, this is a request for conditional use for a Class B tavern restaurant in a B1 local business district. Matter was published in the Daily Herald on uh, November 14, 2023, and I have no comments or objections from any of the uh, entities to whom we've circulated the petition. Can I ask you, sir, to raise your hand and be sworn in? And uh, I see somebody on the on the uh, screen here who's identified as Shirley. Uh, are are you going to give testimony in this case, Shirley? No, sir. I'm just a neighbor who got the letter and decided to join the Zoom. So you just want to see what's happening, but you're not going to comment? Exactly. Okay, well, then you don't have to be sworn in. Um, sir, uh, would you please be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear affirm that the testimony and evidence that you're about to give at this time shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. And tell us your name, sir. Robert Fabry. And what is your relationship to this petition? Uh, our owner of what? Rock well, Fifty Three Cafe. And Fifty Three Cafe. How does that? How is that distinguished from the uh, banquet facility 
which we improved many years ago. There, so you have the banquet facility and then next to it, there are six units and your individual storefronts. So okay. it's one of those storefronts. All right. Now, my exhibits that have been presented are the combined survey site plan because there's no uh, change to the uh, structures or parking or whatever that's proposed for the site. And then I have uh, some diagrams, of presumably, that I'll take as group exhibit two, presumably of um, the proposed floor plans, et cetera. I'll take these as advisory exhibits uh, group two. And the reason I say advisory is I'm, I don't usually, um, if we have a site plan which proposes uh, changes to the layout, uh, we make that a condition, but I don't want to make this a condition. If you put the men's room where the ladies' room is, you know, or I suppose that's uh, good now, but uh, <laughs> whatever you do with respect to any modifications uh, will not affect this particular case. So I'm taking this as advisory only. Okay. You don't have to spend a lot of time. Next, I'd like to say that there is some consideration that um, the ordinance be approved, the, the ordinance be amended so that this would be uh, approved in a B1 local business district as it is, as I uh, recall, in the B2 district. So the timing of that, I'm not sure. Um, but with that, by way of background, just tell me what's going on. As far as the cafe? Yeah. So it'll be gaming. Uh, there'll be about six machines. And then all the, obviously we have to have uh, alcohol. So it'll be all just packaged goods, disposable. There won't be any mixed drinks, such as beer wine. At this, at this point, uh, but everything's packaged. Um, and then the only food item would be snacks, packaged snacks. And uh, will the operation be integrated in any way with the banquet facility next door? It's two separate entities. Okay. Um, so the food is really secondary, it seems, although I guess it's supposed to be primary. Um, what do you do about dumpsters and refuse? And you're not going to cook anything on site? Is Nothing's right? cooked. Everything, like I said, everything's packaged, mainly snack items. Um, as far as waste, we have the, uh, for the banquet hall, uh, all the stores have use of our dumpsters. So that's what we'll do. What are your hours of operation? We, we don't have any set hours right now. Um, we're looking when we open, probably 10 a.m. to 11 during the week, maybe midnight on the weekends. Can I set that as a condition for the relief that may be granted 10 to uh, 11 during the week and 10 to midnight during the weekends? Yes. So during the week is five days a week? It'll be five, five days. And the weekends are Saturday Friday. and Sunday? Uh, it'll probably be Friday, Saturday till midnight. Oh, and then okay. Saturday through Thursday. Either early or now. Okay. Number of employees? Right now, two. That, I won't make that a condition because I don't care if you have 50. Um, I mean, there's probably be only one at a time there. Yeah. Um, what, in terms of parking, which is shown here, do you have a, a reciprocal agreement with respect to? We have use all the parking. So you have use of this entire correct center, if you would call correct. it a center. Yes, all the stores, same with all the stores. Yeah, okay, yes. Any, any new lighting? Uh, lighting is there already. Uh, we won't get into the lighting today. Okay. 
no new lighting and you haven't requested any relief for signage so you whatever the ordinance permits you'll do correct all right do you have anything else i don't all right uh there will be a time limit on this relief mm -hmm. that's granted i don't know if you're a contract purchaser or what the legalities are of your operation and your control of this this site but the uh, time limit is intended to uh, give uh, a, some leeway for the ordinance to change. And as I said, it may be that this would be a matter of right in the future. Um, if not, if that does not occur, you'll have to come back and repeat this at the end of the time period, uh, which, you know, it's not going to be. Uh, six months, but it's not going to be a hundred years either. So I figure out something. Okay. Yes. I don't have anything else. So I'm, uh, I'll close. Oh, Shirley, are you satisfied? You still have no remarks? I have no remarks, but may I ask a couple of questions? Yes. You don't have to this morning for questions. So no statements. No statements. Um, I'm not sure what I heard. I, does this involve one storefront or several? One storefront. Okay. And and how many machines will be in there? There will be six. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll close the hearing. You'll get a decision with them. Did I explain this to you? I explained it to a couple of others. Uh, okay. So you'll get a decision of this proceeding in uh, by email. In the next couple of weeks, my uh, decision constitutes a recommendation to the County Development Committee. The Development Committee will confer about this and other cases at their meeting in presumably early December. They will um, then move the matter to the full county board, but I don't think it's likely that we'll have an answer for this until probably uh, the end of December, given you know, various schedules of right. those next two steps. So, okay. Okay? Yes. Great. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Good luck with your Thank project. You.